The most intriguing product introduced at this year's WWDC presentation, Apple Vision Pro, has gone viral online. Some hitherto unseen possibilities have been revealed by this new offering from the tech behemoth. With Vision Pro, you may experience immersive and natural feeling sight, sound, and interaction with digital material. It can be used for various things, including video games, movies, and art. We have heard many incredible things about this product, and some people are ready to buy it as much as they are also anticipating it. But do you know there are some secrets Apple is keeping from us concerning this product? This video will discuss these secrets and other things you need to know about Apple Vision Pro. Before we start, I would like you to give this video a like and subscribe to this channel. According to a recent source, Apple only demonstrated the limited functionality of Apple Vision Pro when it was supposed to display health apps, gaming, and even the direct execution of Mac software. Apple demonstrated various tools and apps during the long-awaited unveiling of the Vision Pro headset, but only some of the anticipated ones. Before its debut, there were rumors of gaming, fitness, and health and wellness apps for the headgear. The information claims that because many of these apps are still developing, Apple decided against including them. These applications are namely Tai Chi app, Nike workout, running Mac apps, yoga, and a few others. According to another source, full body tracking will be available when the product comes, according to screenshots of a Slack conversation in which Apple informed developers. For this reason, the Vision Pro contains two downward-facing cameras. It can, for example, measure breathing by keeping an eye on a user's chest. There have apparently been hardware challenges that have hindered the headset's development in addition to software applications. For example, face cushions have been studied because they may be more appropriate for usage during intense physical activity. However, it is still being determined how they would have been used. The Vision Pro also misses what the information calls brow cams. The headset allegedly had plans to represent a user's facial expressions more than Vision Pro, just displaying a CGI representation of the user's eyes. Fitness was also taken out of the presentation due to hardware issues, claim persons who claim to be former Apple staff members. According to reports, the external battery pack proved challenging, and the headset's front glass is too delicate to withstand a wearer slamming into a wall. This product is also said to have a low battery life. When you use the device, you must keep a battery in your pocket because it draws power directly from the storm. The bad news is that its battery life is only two hours. Even though you would like to use the smartphone longer, the poor battery life is a headache. Concerns surround the Apple Vision Pro, and even some employees doubt it. The major one is that no matter how the execution is done, it would be challenging to pull off because it is conceptually difficult to market. Even worse, there are problems with the execution. If Apple had figured out how to create a mixed reality hedger that weighed only four ounces or worked more like a typical pair of glasses. However, at the moment, it only provides a slight sleeker improvement to a type of rather uncool looking headgear. The nerd glasses appear to be nerd glasses. It's absurd because Apple is aware of this. As Mark Gurman of Bloomberg noted, it did not publish any images of Tim Cook or any other senior Apple officials wearing the device. Tim Cook's decision to stand next to the most extensive product of his time rather than wearing has no explanation other than meme control. In fact, Kerman remarked, it just seems odd not to be wearing it, unusual and revealing. Imagine Apple executives brainstorming how to promote their headset in the exact opposite way to what Robert Scoble did while taking a shower while wearing Google Glass, all the while not realizing that Scoble's behavior was merely a symptom of the company's release of a terminally corny product. The promotional materials Apple chose to explain its uses highlight that primary issue, despite the lack of images of executives or media members wearing the headsets. You also need to know other things about the Apple Vision Pro before purchasing it. Ski Goggles Hardware The new Vision Pro augmented reality headgear looks like a trendy pair of ski goggles. That's not necessarily a negative thing because it captures Apple's basic design philosophy in a sleek amalgamation of glass and metal. A perfect fit is achieved thanks to the aluminum alloy chassis modular components and the curved glass display. 
A padded textile cushion that encases the goggles is available in various sizes and forms to further improve comfort and immersion. Micro OLED displays the size of postage stamps are packed with 23 million pixels, which Apple claims is more than a 4K TV for each devoted eye, bringing the company's vision of mixed reality to life in the goggles. Vision OS The first OS designed for the ground up for spatial computing, as Apple puts it, is the software that drives the Vision Pro. Spatial computing is Apple's term for augmented and virtual reality experiences. To handle interactive images on the Vision Pro, Vision incorporates a real-time subsystem into its architecture, similar to macOS and iOS. Apps can now be displayed side-by-side -side at varying sizes thanks to the VisionOS's three-dimensional interface. The interface adapts to ambient lighting conditions in real-time, casting shadows that convey depth and distance. This is all we have for you in this video, folks. Make sure to like this video and place your comments in the section below. Feel free to tell us how you feel about this product. Make sure to also subscribe to this channel for more videos like this.